Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 259. We're at the end of May. I think there's one day left this month, which means we're into June. And June has exciting stuff happening in it uh, for us. So these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. Uh, but you already knew that because you're watching it. Roll call. Welcome. We have Ron, Bert, Zach, and Jacob, and maybe a few other people hanging out there. Uh, Jacob was being quiet, but it's great to have you all here, uh, keeping us honest as we work through what are the things we're doing. So what are we doing? Uh, we're going to talk about Wix 401. Nothing has changed, so this is just a real quick review. Uh, and then we will do uh, the issue review and triage. So we'll go over our new issues, we'll talk about 401, and we will see if everything stays in line. And then we'll take questions and comments and other things that people want to talk about. So let's talk about 401. 401 releases Monday, a week from yesterday. Everything seems to suggest that that's okay. Um, I guess we'll talk about it in the issues if we want to change that, but I don't think anything will change. We'll do that. Um, and then the other stuff, yeah. if you have a fix that needs to get in, well, you know, honestly, we probably should have it already or should have it opened already. But, you know, if you're going to get something in the last couple of days here, check it in develop, which is Wix v5. And then we will cherry pick it. Um, I will cherry pick it over to some very short lived branch for 401. And if you see that branch, stay out of it. It doesn't exist yet because I've been avoiding having anybody think they could target it. And that's all we have about 401. Should we go talk about the issues and things like that? Since that's really where this is, you know, the rubber hits the road. I think that's... Let's find out about do any that. 401 issues. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's go review and triage. Actually, we're going to do triage and review. So here we go to the web. All right. This is our triage issues. And you can tell because there's all the little purple uh, bubbles next to things that say triage. Uh, let's start at the oldest and we'll work our way to the newest. Uh, 7490 side containers is in functional for detached bootstrapper containers. Um, Bob, you did investigation and I felt a little more vindicated that this was not supported because it wasn't supported in three either, which right. if I trusted myself on stream, I might've said that, but I definitely did not trust myself to say that on stream uh, two weeks ago. Um, and then the near pointed out that we should remove all references to signed containers. And I 100% agree that we should remove references to signed containers. Yep. Um, is there anything else to discuss here? Um, whether this is something we do in 401. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth the disruption. And it's just cleaning up dead code brand or dead code paths. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't work. It was there in three. It's still there in four. We should have removed it in four. Sorry, we missed it. We'll get rid of it five. Ta-da. Yep. Here's this issue. That's what we should do. I agree. If you remove signed containers, is there a good hook for people to inject their own signing? No. Signing containers just does not work. So signing a detached containers does not work. Uh, the, you, signing a detached container doesn't really work either. Directly. Yeah, not. I mean, yeah. You sign the attached container through the process of uh, through normal bundle signing. This is right. for detached containers. Detached containers don't support being signed, which means they only support being hash verified. So the thing you would lose if it was ever supported is the ability to change a con detached container and its contents online out from underneath the install and that only works for XE packages and all kinds of other stuff. So it's just like layer upon layer of caveat. That means it's just not a thing to do. Um, burn does hash verify them. And honestly, we're probably going to, there is a dream that we move to a more efficient compression technology for detached containers than what cab offers. And then they wouldn't be signed the bull anyway. So right. anyway, it's just so. cab that can, that can be code signed. It turns out cab can be code signed. Right. Exactly. So anyway, uh, that's the long story behind this short issue where the issue is just, yeah, we should not be exposing this because it doesn't work. Cool. Cool. Cool with me. Cool. All right. So that goes in five. And if you don't want it, I'll take it, but, um, yeah. we should definitely do that. I'll hack up the targets. All right. 7492 came about because I asked for something to kind of say, Hey, if someone wants to do this, we should group these two issues that got closed into a more larger feature concept as opposed to one offs. Hey, how should the source path attribute, yeah, source attribute work on 
uh, elements, various things. So that's what this is. So I think this goes whip and up for grabs, right? Well, um, oh, probably. Oh. Um, so this also ties in to another long hoped for feature, which is the the idea of shaping the output. Um, and now I really wish I'd written down. I had a cute little acronym that spelled Bob. <laughs> and I don't remember. Do. I don't remember what it what it actually stands for. Um, uh, the idea that that you know you don't include the 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 shape of your output in the authoring. Um, it's specified some other way so that you can, for example, have one bundle with the same bundle ID that is a web download and a CD image and uh, a big all-in-one attached container download. This whole releases concept. Yeah, exactly. And you're um, saying that you might tie this into that somehow? Well, How I think you it find fits. the source content? Okay. Yeah, I think it fits. I, um, but it's definitely not something I'm I'm interested in in five. All right. Um, I would take it for V future. You really want to put it in like the next release you're thinking? Um, I'm not ruling it out. All right. I think this is a little bit of our process of, you know, how we track these things. Right. And such like that. Uh, if you want to take it and put it in view future, I'm okay with that. And then I'll go back and think about whether we should just use projects for that. But that's kind of the option. Okay. Okay. Sure. Because that's the other way to do well, it. We... Is create your own project and then tag it as things that yeah. Bob thinks is interesting or whatever else you want to call the project. Right. Maybe. We have one other thing in view future that we dealt with <laughs> that way. So. So anyway, uh, agreed. I don't haven't thought deeply about the releases and all of the implications of it, so I can see this fitting in there, okay, with no idea of how it actually work. But yeah, exactly. All righty then. Um, seven five oh five Wix toolset and compatibility with seventeen dot six. Um, I can't reproduce this. Okay, I was able to install Votive twenty two on one dot zero zero dot twenty two. On uh, seventeen six one, um, and then seventeen six two. Okay. I never tried it with seventeen six zero just because it was so quickly replaced that <laughs> I, I didn't have a chance. Um, but I'm able to install it and yeah, open projects and click them and whatnot. Okay. Well, I'm not on 76 yet. So I think we resolve this as external again. And if they can, and then we can put the standard text in the, well, you know, it's a V6 install issue. We didn't change anything right. at all. So yep. Visual Studio must have broken something. You have to go bring it up with them to go tackle it. Because sadly, that is installation technology. We can do nothing to improve or change or otherwise. Yeah. Because if we could, we would. V6 is such. Very sure. weak, very weak install engine, but it's what you use to put extensions inside Visual Studio, so that's what you use. Yep. All right, 7508, support specifying a custom burn stub. No. <laughs> that was simple enough. Yeah, no, um, I, not about trying to swap out pieces of the Wix tool set. I'm about if there's things that we need to add to Wix, we should talk about adding them, not about re swapping out bits and pieces. Well, so. also, I think this is... Yeah, it, it's such an edge case that it shouldn't be a language feature. But I was thinking about it. An extension, which you'd probably have in this scenario, can add command line switches. So if you want to add a command line switch to specify a new stub, that's completely feasible. No, I, it's not a feature that I really want to encourage. It's like we well, need to make yeah, burn better. That's what I'm saying. It, not swapping out go, parts of it. Everything can go out into an extension. Sure, but no. Not a feature interested in. If there's things that are not working in Burn, we should talk about them and get them fixed. 7512. Wixlib project references don't set pre process variables anymore. Oh, I missed this one. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I probably should take this, huh? Mm hmm That was my thinking. Yeah, I should take this. We, we should fix this at four. Um, or yeah. one. So 401. Sorry. Yes, 401. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, need to add a test to catch that. All right, yeah. Yeah, Wix lib paths not come. Other, well, project reference to Wix proj is... Yeah, okay. Yep, no, need to fix that. <laughs> that's that's not right. 7522, no longer able to suppress ICE24 errors in Wix 4. Not exactly. I've set my version to this, and now they're getting... Oh, this is not... That's all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Wix now is telling them, hey, your error, your version number is bad. In Wix 3, you're getting caught by ICE24, so you could suppress ICE24. You probably could still suppress ICE24. Yeah, you know. You just can't the... get there because you have an error between right. there and here. Here and there? Yeah, mm. yeah this, this is bad for them. They ignored an error, and now they're getting hit with that error becoming more important. Mm. Well, now I'm, I'm how, how did they get past? There's a similar check in V3. Is there? I don't know that. Oh, no. I don't think that there is. Well, mm, oh, uh, I bet there is. I'm highly confident of that, but it's in the compiler. So, so if, if you, you use a bind, bind time variable, variable or a look variable, can... you could bypass the check entirely. Yeah, so we basically are, we've gotten better at catching this. I'm betting this error happens in the MSI the backend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm certain it does because I did all the work to put it there. Right. Um, and it still says product version, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that's the least part. Oh. Yeah, they're... They're stuck unless we downgrade this to a warning. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any way of downgrading errors. Mm. On purpose. Like, we don't want to be downgrading <laughs> yeah, errors. Yeah. It's just. Mm hmm. We were able to move this back. It's like, hey, well, you had to get to the compiler, so you would have had this before. It should have been fine. Right. But they are done because the only option is to reduce your product version. At that point, I guess you have to do a whole new upgrade code. You have to do a lot of work then to get out of it. Yeah. Uh, do we downgrade this to a warning? If we want to take something in 401 because we're blocking a scenario that used to work, then that's probably the best approach. I don't like it um, because because they got away with it by cheating, quote unquote. It's not cheating. The problem is, you know, the... Um, They've observed the that it works, but it doesn't. Uh, it, well, it might work in their scenarios because we just what yeah. I forgot what the exact behavior was, but like the number was getting wrapped around or something. It's basically taking the two twenty four and the twenty twenty four and you know, <laughs> mod two mod two fifty five two fifty six, <laughs> and then going with the, like because well, we that did, would actually work. I did right? a stream <laughs> with a bunch of well, it will until it crosses some border here yeah. where that it right, doesn't, right, right. and I don't. I mean. I'm not gonna be able to do the mod 256 in my head on these numbers to to know when it flips over or when it creates problems. No, but now I really want to. Um, but yeah, <laughs> until, until until that flips, you're right. It, it's gonna work just fine. Yeah, it's gonna look like it works until. And then one but, day, you know, then it very strangely, no it's not going to work. You'd be like, "What yeah. is it doing?" And you're like, "Oh, right. well, you have a number that's over this, and it's yeah. bad." Actually, it's really good that I guess I guess it's really good that you know you did all the. Uh, the version testing for that ill-fated Semver stuff. On stream? <laughs> See, well, it, yeah. if you could find that stream, which I don't know, I have to go back. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of those to go find it. Um, right. Yeah. Because that was in Dojo, right? That was before a Dojo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was before the Deployment Dojo show. It's back in the Let's Code. 
Wow. Um, icky, 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 icky. How do you say I, something as a yeah. warning? Yeah. But it's not. Maybe we change the message that goes. Do we add something? It says, this is not a warning. We This is only a warning for backwards compatibility reasons. This does not work. Um, yeah, I would be fine. I would be fine. Do not that. suppress I mean, this warning. Except be, for backwards it, compat, uh, except for yeah, do not suppress this warning. And then somebody be like, "Oh, I have to suppress this warning." And then we'll be like, "Well, we told you not to." Like, right. we only made it a warning for backwards compatibility reasons. That's, I guess, that's what it says. This is a warning for backwards compatibility reasons only. Do not suppress it. Um, or do not do not ignore it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's something to that effect. Okay, I think that's what we have to do. Okay. And I don't know how we ratchet that up. Uh, well, yeah. So I guess my question is, what do we do in five? Yeah. What do they do? They have to do the work. It's a, it's just work. I mean, part, part of it is, is I mean, the, the year is probably the most common thing. And then yes, we have to figure out the mod 256 issue, but you know, it, it's, it's going to work for some set of scenarios. Do we want to just, is making it a warning, a, a strongly worded warning, the best thing that we can do, the only thing that we can do? I... Yeah, sorry. That's where I'm at. It's like, <laughs> I think making it a warning is the, safest thing to do in a 401 if we want to do that um yeah i think we have and i can't to. come up with a different solution yeah i mean you just have to get out of it the way you get out of it is a specially crafted upgrade table a new upgrade version uh, upgrade yeah, code yeah. and a specially crafted upgrade table and then any of knock-on effects from that that i'd have to think through right after that mm-hmm Yuck. Yuck. Anyway, I think yeah. the answer is warning and then add a message that says this is a warning only for backwards compatibility. And then <laughs> and then soften the messaging in V5 because we can't come up with a better answer. I guess at some point we could say, I mean, by saying this is, exists only for backs compatibility, we leave ourselves open to, all right, we've cut the backs compatibility on this. You now need to fix it. That, that's the, that's the next okay. step. So, so what, if, what if we, what if we deprecate it? We deprecate <laughs> yeah, non-compliant to, I, version numbers. Yeah, right. Like that, That's the truth. Like, we're deprecating yeah. this warning to, to make it an error. We're going to, this, this warning will be promoted to an error is essentially what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. And I, I it's a possible, it's possible we just live with it to the in Wix yeah, yeah. five That's two. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Cause again, you know, unless, unless, tw you know, 2030 mod 256 is, yeah, you know, dangerously close to rolling over. It's going to work, right? Um, for, yeah. it, it will work for some period of time. Now, of course, you know, there's no way anyone would be using this in the year 2000. Is something people said in the 80s. So, and we know how that turned out. Yeah, they probably are going to be okay. For a while. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What a pain. Right. People yeah. just freaking do the right thing. Don't create work for us. Anyway. Uh yeah, yeah I wish to yeah, this is their marketing department. Yeah. Or, you know, product managers going, hey, having a direct impact on our day job. Um, do you want this or do you want me? I, I if you want you could take it. If not, you can I have to go in for the I'll take targets. It. So, uh, let's see. 
Nier has got made Dipwick so yeah. Yeah, Nier has done Nier has a bunch of custom stuff. I mean Nier builds a lot of stuff on top of Wix. I, I understand why. I assume you're talking about that was probably from the burn stuff thing. I I I I I can I can understand why he wants that feature, but it goes against the purpose of the open source project. It's like, no, we're not gonna make it. it the purpose is not to make a whole bunch of stuff swap out just because you don't want to participate in the project. No, we want to get all the stuff, the good stuff in the project so everybody benefits from it. That's the, what, that's kind of the thing there. Uh, you know, when ice still errors out. That's true. Actually, that's a good point. Painter does point out that if we add the warning that there's backwards compatibility, ice will still error. So we have to suppress two things. I mean, we are upping the, you have, you really know that you are working around this thing, so. I think if we say that it's a warning for backs compatibility reasons, I think that's going to definitely put it, at least if they read the message, be like, wait, what? This is getting weird. What am I doing? Hopefully. I, it's probably too hopeful, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. Um, uh, there's some wiggle room with the deprecation message. Yeah. Or wiggle room. Yeah. Wiggle Eliana, room welcome. With the, the power. The power. Um, yeah. Welcome. Welcome. So. Yeah, no, I, I, Nier has done several things. I'm hoping he keeps continuing to push them back. And it's, there's been some discussions around that. So, all right. Yeah, he's, he's done a lot of that, but, you know, at the same time, yeah, he wants to do stuff that maybe doesn't fit in the mainstream product, project, rather. So, yeah. Yeah, how's that the deal? So, 7523, util permission EX not set with Wix 314. Hmm. Uh, upgrade to I, Wix four. You, sorry. Yeah, Did I miss no, one? No, I, Did I skip one? No, no. I I removed the triage label. I asked for some details. Oh, you. I see. I should have refreshed a little bit. Yeah, no, no. The answer is go try four. We're not supporting Wix three fourteen. So go try four. We'll see how it goes. All right. One more things is this. All right. So I think we took two. Right. These two will go not into 401. And now we're in looking at 401 issues. So this has all the closed and the open ones. Uh, up here at the top is the Wix 4 package state incorrectly set. I have a PR out for that <clears throat> this morning. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and then we have the two that we picked up this morning, right? The Or today, yeah. this morning, I guess. Morning for me, afternoon for you. And whatever for all the rest of you around the world. Um, Wix lib project references. Yes, you need to set the project references. And ICE 24 errors, changing that error to a warning with a message that says this is a warning only for microspill cases. Otherwise, we have 16. That'll put us at 19 issues in here. Pretty good. I think that's right. I think that's right. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so that is good. 401 still on target? I don't I see any so. reason. The, the two know. we took today are not yeah. disruptive. No. This one is probably the biggest thing, but I can go write test for the pre-process variables. So that's definitely the most largest one left. And I can go write good tests to verify that that's right. Okay. And yep. they're missing now, so getting something in there is better than what we have. <laughs> right, now. right. All right, cool. Um, I think that's it. That's where we're at. And that's pretty good. These will go away when Bob has a check chance to uh, um, type more words because they needed more words. So yep. that leaves us with questions and comments. Uh. End of this week's focus for me will obviously be getting 401 um, put together, plus Fire Giant turns 10, so we have a bunch of stuff hopefully coming out. If everything comes together, all coming together over in, in the next week, so that'll be fun stuff. So we have lots of stuff happening next week, um, I expect. Uh, other things going on out there. Um... Other questions, comments? I uh, won't get a chance to test right away. Yes. So I guess I'll try to get a build out as soon as we get those two fixes in, Bob, probably. Yeah. If we try to get those fixes in quickly-ish, 
yeah. and I can get the branch get a build. So if you want to use a get a dev build, you'll see a 401 build available on the package, the GitHub packages. So you can go ahead and kick the tires a bit on it. Um, anything else people have got going on? I'm kind of filling space here, but feels like 401 will just, you know, be another release, turn the crank, do all those things um, with an extra branch. So I have to do a little bit of extra work on that. Um, the .NET Foundation is changing signing again. Although I don't know if that's their fault or the fault of the systems that be, because a lot of stuff has changed about signing certificates now. Um, so there will be some hiccups around that, but I think 401 will come out before that requirement hits, which will give me more time to just fuss with it in the Wix 5 builds um, and get that working there. Um, other things people want to talk about. If not, I think the next meeting is the 13th of June. Two weeks from now, these Tuesdays seem to be working. People hanging out. Did I say hi to Ileana? I don't remember. That looks like a new name. Uh, welcome. Always great to have new people hanging out with us and watching, keeping up, uh, providing suggestions, things to talk about. All right. It's pretty quiet. I think everybody's just like, yeah, just do 401 and let's talk about five, which is what we will be doing. Hope we should then be like into the out of the review of Wix 5 issues, basically that which was V Future, which we did these last two weeks. Um, so I think on the 13th, uh, we'll try to bring all of the, hey, here's the big things that we're looking at doing five. Uh, big being, you know, smaller than anything we did in four because five is going to be a much shorter release than four was. Well, four had a bunch of things, big and small. That's true. And so we'll bring the we'll, things. We'll that start we're, with the themes. Yeah, the things that we're looking at doing. And if you have things that you think are like, yeah, this would be cool and that are, you know, whip size, then it's good to start thinking about getting those all put together because uh, five is going to switch to our focus and we're really going to, like, we're going to be done with this whole 401, which as you can see, kind of consumes everything we talk about in these meetings right now, which is why I don't want to be doing these releases. Um, and we'll talk more about five and the things going on in five and uh, people getting the fixes that they want into five, which will be where we'll be, which is where we should be. All right, that's all I got this week. It looks quiet out there, so I'm going to assume everybody's happy and ready to take on the rest of this week and cheer on 401 as a way of just putting it in the rearview mirror, not because, yay, it's great to have a 401, although these are really good bug fixes for us to have fixed, to get fixed, to make fixed. So let's go do that. All right, we'll be back in two weeks, and uh, we'll do all this again. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.